The intestinal microbiota is the community of microorganisms that live in uh, mutualism with our body. The microbiota lives in uh, several uh, um, areas that are exposed to the, to the external environment, like the mucosa of the gut, of the mouth and vagina, uh, and in the skin. So we are, um, uh, we are um, composed of uh, 10 times more cells of the microbi mi microbial origin rather than a mammalian origin. And this increases of 100 times the genome of our body, which is uh, fundamental for several functions that are required for breakdown of uh, food, for instance. And indeed, some animals that are gem-free, that means that they do, do not have the microbiota, uh, they have to um, eat uh, at, at least 30% more food in order to have the same type of uh, energy harvest. The microbiota is fundamental also for other reasons, because it is important for, uh, for instance, for uh, the maturation of the immune system. And uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, animals that do not have the microbiota, they also have a reduced uh, um, a dimension of uh, uh, secondary organs of uh, the lymphoid tissues, like, for instance, the bias patches. Um, the microbiota is also um, is a community that is created of uh, different microorganisms that are uh, both inflammatory and anti-inflammatory, and it's the balance of the two that uh, creates the homeostasis of uh, our body, in particular of the gut. Uh, where with the, the intestinal microbiota is the one that is uh, mostly um, studied, and uh, uh, it's known that if you have dysbiosis, that means that uh, there is no balance of the microbial communities, then uh, uh, there are several diseases like inflammatory bowel disease uh, and uh, um, obesity that are uh, related to, to the, this, this biosis. But it's still not known whether this is the cause of the effect of the disease. The intestinal microbiota is also important for behavior, for instance. It has been shown that uh, uh, if you swap the microbiota in uh, animals of different genetic backgrounds, then you can have more aggressiveness of these mice. And before it was thought that it, this was genetically driven, but now it is believed that uh, the microbiota plays an important role because if, if you swap the microbiota, then animals that are less aggressive become, become more aggressive rather than uh, the other that are more timid, and uh, this is related to the, to the microbiota. Um, we study the microbiota in uh, several diseases, for instance in cancer, and uh, we know that uh, in a cancer, uh, the microbiota is uh, also we have a dysbiosis, and we have an increase of uh, several bacteria that are uh, um, uh, of uh, uh, the different uh, um, species, um, and uh, this, this bacteria seems to be more related to um, a more aggressive uh, microbiota. This seems to be uh, important for uh, for tumor development.